Now, over the years, my car has become a bit of a celebrity herself. Many of you have asked me to show her off a bit more. So here is a special review of my car. This is a 1971 Mercedes-Benz W115. Now under the hood, a four-cylinder, two-liter engine with a horsepower of 95. Want to see what it can do? As you can see, not much. Now to put things in perspective, the modern equivalent of the E200 would have about 200 horsepower, plus a whole bunch of technology to make it way faster. So powerful and zippy is not how you would describe this car. Instead, I'd say it's a car with class and character. Okay, maybe not class, because it has no class. Well, what I mean is there were no class types for Mercedes back then. And in a funny way, no is a predominant theme for this car. Besides the fact that it has no class type, it also has no frills. I'm talking about no ABS, no power steering, no power windows, no power lock. And in fact, even if the headlight blows out, I simply remove the cover, change the bulb, and we're good to go. Which reminds me of the Flash. You know, he lost a lot of weight recently. Now they call him Flashlight. Let's talk a bit about stereotypes. I mean, how can you stereotype a car like this? But if you had to, you can choose a car stereo like this, which looks old but sounds new. Now, you know, at first I had a bit of trouble connecting it with my phone, but then I simply changed my phone name to Titanic. And guess what? It's now sinking. One of the things I love most about this car is this bench seat. It's like you're sitting on a sofa. And did you notice that there are also no hit rests? So I get a great view of everything inside and outside the car. As for maintenance, it's become a bit of a hobby. I shop online to replace knobs, handles, from people who strip all cars. I even get parts from Germany, and some companies still specialize in making classic car parts. Now, Mercedes is one of those car brands people do collect, so that makes it a little bit easier to find parts. The design of the car is unique compared to cars today, and I especially like my solid steel bumper. Now here's a bit of trivia, this car originally did not have any seat belts. It was registered in 1971 and the seat belt law came into effect in 1973 in Singapore. Which means I technically did not have to fit seat belts in this car. But safety first, right? It's a no-brainer. So it did take me a while to figure out how to get it working, but then it clicked. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There you go, everything you need to know about my car. The way I see it, good cars will get you from point A to point B easily, but great cars like these will do it with more style, more character and less ease. But hey, that just makes the journey a whole lot more fun, right? Hope you've enjoyed the review.